Okay, we are in Swaziland, a lion covered. The way conventional archaeology functions is, it's all about deception. Where does the deception start? With the names. This is a small example, but still, lion coven. You would expect to see some traces of lions. Of course, there are none. No bones. It has never been place of the lions. Actually, it was the brand of the beer here in <laughs> South Africa. Lion. In cavern, you would expect to see some huge natural cavern with the bones, with the signs of habitations, nothing like that. It was just a place where the hematite had been mined in a distant past. So this is not about the lions or the caverns, but it is about the iron ore. Why is that important? If we trust the sources that this place is at least 43,000 years old, obviously this would be one of the oldest mines on the planet. Of course, we have gold mines of South Africa. They probably go back at least 200,000 years. We have copper mines in the area of the Michigan and Great Lakes, tens and tens of thousands of years. Now, obviously, that uh, humans of the past and we've heard Homo sapiens sapiens, probably some other species, intelligent species. They always mine the minerals of this planet for their purposes. But let's see how the classification was given to us by historians and archaeologists. They are saying we have three major periods in the human evolution. We have uh, Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic. Neolithic time started 12,000 years back, uh, with the end of the last Ice Age. And uh, before that, Mesolithic was very short, and before that, Paleolithic about 200,000 years back, basically as old as humans, according to the conventional science. And then after Neolithic times, we have three major periods when the metals were discovered. So people could make tools, uh, weapons, and so on. We have copper, age, we have bronze age, and we have iron age. Now, those three ages, depending on continents and areas, they go anywhere from 1000 before present to about 5000 before present. Some places, iron age started earlier, 4 5000 back, some places 2000 years back. However, here we have a perfect example that we are blind and we can face the proofs from the past. Now we are looking at the iron ore mining, meaning people were using iron tens of thousands years back, and we call that period Stone Age. Wasn't that an Iron Age because they were using iron to make their tools and weapons and stuff they were using in a practical life? No, they want us to stay blind, even though the evidence telling us something completely different. But in any case, this is a very important place for the whole planet, because if it was radiocarbon dating back to 43,000 years ago, and I don't know what they used to carbon date, of course you use organic material. It can be bone, animal, human, it can be piece of wood, it can be, you know, anything organic. We don't know, but in any case, this is amazing discovery. And uh, when we see the amount of the iron which was mined later on, obviously the need for iron has been almost forever. When it comes to the organized societies, uh, conventional science is saying that everything started about 6,000 years back, or anywhere between five and 7,000 years, with the Sumerians. Well, they are right about one thing, they are right about the Sumerians, they are not right about the age. Now, the age is very important, and this is one thing that will help us to understand better history of humanity and visitors if they were here. Thank you. Thank you.